in part five of our um, contributors to our internet series, I want to talk about site assets and the images that you use um, on your internet. So <clears throat> what happens when you load images on pages, it actually puts it in a special place called the site assets and it creates a folder for each of the pages where it is that you added those images. So if I go to site contents and I scroll down to site assets, You'll see that there's a folder in there for site pages. So that's any images that's been added on site pages. And then it automatically creates a folder for each of the site pages that you've worked on. And it then puts the documents in there. So for example, if I go to human resources, it's going to show the images that um, I've actually loaded and used on the human resources um, page. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but what frustrates me is that when I then want to use those images on other pages, I have to upload them again because I can never remember where I loaded them. So here's a good tip for you for the day, is that in your site assets, I normally go and I create a generic images um, folder, which is outside of that site pages folder. And in there, I'll go load all the images that I want to use on my site. So I kind of load the images here first, and then I can just pick them from anywhere. So it means I have one um, general location where all my cool pictures are that I can use. So if I then go back, so just to confirm, in site assets, I've created a generic images um, folder separate from my site pages. Then when I want to add images anywhere, I don't upload new images. I always make sure that it's loaded in that um, generic images library. So if I edit this page, and I'm going to just scroll down all the way to the bottom, I'm going to try and add an image, or um, of course I can just add it anywhere, I can change any one of these, but let me just scroll to the bottom. And I'm going to go and say, you know what, I want to add an image here. So then instead of trying to go and look at where did I load that image, and is it under the recent stuff, or is it under the what folder was it, what page was it, I would then just go to site, I would go to site assets and as I said instead of going and looking in the site pages folders I'll just go to generic images and if it doesn't display the images it might be set to display the list so if you're seeing a list in your library just in the top right hand corner change it to display tiles and then I can very easily go and say hey there's that uh, that image I was looking for I actually want to load this on, uh, on my um, landing page and how much easier is that so that's one generic place where I can then store images and use it across my site instead of uploading images and it then saves it in a folder for that specific page in my site assets just another way I suppose um, to kind of like calm that chaos and uh, to find your stuff faster but that's also a great place to then store the documents that your contributors to your internet can also use in other places on the site. It's just much faster to find those images there and to see all the cool images that everyone else is using. So I hope that that uh, helps you a bit. And then um, we'll, uh, we'll chat soon, where in the next part, in part six, I'm going to just be talking about uh, the list and library settings that you get on your apps. Chat soon.